somebody wants to ask me, what was the craziest thing that you saw when you had your mortgage ranch from 2005 to 2008? There's one client that stood out in particular. This gentleman was trying to refinance his home for $1.2 million. So I asked him, I said, what's your credit like? He goes, 780. So how long since the last time you checked it? He goes, two years. Okay. So I pulled his credit and it came back 480. Out of his entire credit report, he only owed one thing for $1,800. This guy owned his own computer programming company and he was making about a quarter million dollars a year. 2005, he shut his company down because the government came at him and gave him a five-year contract worth $350,000 a year. And I'm like, what's going on here? He doesn't even realize that this was on there. And it occurred to me what happened. He shut his business down June of 2005 and he submitted what he thought should have been his last quarterly. While his business shut down in June of 2005, his business did not officially dissolve until July. So he never filed his last quarterly. So now the government's hitting him for a $75 a month penalty on top of interest on top of that. So had he not gone to refinance his house, he would have never even known that this thing was on his credit, killing his credit, and he would have just kept racking up more and more and more. So, you know, for those who are in business for themselves, it's the little things that can fall through the cracks that can cause the biggest problems.